Hello beautiful people, I am Jane M and this is of course Jane M TV baby. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell so that you'll be alerted whenever I post and that's on period. It's always a mouthful, but we bosses out you gotta do it. Anyway, so today is Monday the 19th of August and when I tell you we about to have a hectic week, we are about to have a hectic week. So this week I have uh, two clients, last minute clients. Remember my friend I was talking about in the last uh, vlog who needs a situation made? There is her inspiration over here. And there's another lady as well who works uh, in this building. She does weaves and everything. I'll leave her Instagram handle somewhere here so that you can go and support her. Anyway, um, she also needs a dress done. Both these people need their dresses done by Friday. So I need to be done by Friday. Did I tell you that Diago only comes through on Friday? after lunch like way way in the afternoon like around three-ish yeah yay for me <laughs> exciting anyway um we thank god however for the clients we thank god even though this is so last minute i do preach never to come last minute but here i am i'm gonna suffer through this dresses well at least with the other one, the situation dress, it's pretty simple. So right now I'm going to probably go ahead and do its pattern and the mock-up and ask my friend to come over for her fitting. I'm yet to wash the fabric, so... And the reason I didn't take it home with me is because I didn't buy the fabric that's going to go with um, the main fabric. So I need to go buy... Um, the fabric that needs to go with the main fabric. Um, and this is the dress for the other client. This is the inspiration for the other client's dress. Girl, I need to do a mock-up as well, especially for the collar part of it. Okay, as you can see, the I'm going to put it back here again. You can see how complicated it is um already starting off with the low collar situation high collar situation and then we have another sort of shawl it's not a shawl collar what do you call it it's a flat collar yeah i think one of a peter pan yeah so we have one of those uh collars but it has a seam there's a seam here that goes towards the the chest and then we have that collar. Oh my God. That design is complicated, but we are changing the skirt bit. It's not going to be that um, odd muse type um, domi dress. Uh, skirt, she said we should do pleats. And this is the dress that we are going to um, harvest <laughs> the skirt from. Yeah. So you can see it's a lot of work. The second dress is a lot of work. The first one, simple. We are just going to be, um, the skirt is going to be gathered. But I'll show you how, how the fabric looks so that you understand what it is that we need to do um, with it. Ah, guys. And you have 15 minutes left in the in the memory, so I need to delete the past videos that I I had taken so that we can have space for us to cut the mockups. Wait, draft draft the patterns, then cut the mockups. Hopefully fit today. I think I have another client who's coming through today to take measurements even though we are going to start working on her stuff that other week. So, yeah. Today is a jam-packed, full-to-the-brim 
type of day and I am clenching my pearls, baby girl. I am fearing for my life. I am fighting <laughs> for my life. Um, pray for me. <laughs> pray for me. Okay, let me catch you up a bit on the last project. I haven't done anything. I think in the last vlog you saw me cutting every piece that I'm gonna need for the dress. I am not gonna start stitching this dress after uh, before I'm done with these two new dresses. So I'm gonna pack it nicely, gonna pack it nicely up and put it away and then focus on this new stuff that I need to work on this week and then I'll revisit my aunt's dress that other week and I need to be sure exactly when she's gonna need her dress because well she came earlier and she shouldn't be inconvenienced because of people who are coming last minute you know what i mean yeah otherwise let me give you a little oh oh to do there i am in the mirror there i am in the mirror never mind the mess on the um ironing board there's the ootd that's how the girl is looking Okay, let me, I don't know. I usually don't know what, where, from what direction I should take this OOTD thing. But I got my canvas on. Uh, little socks that I peek in there. They are from um, The Fix. The Fix. The Fix. Jet. The Fix. Uh, hat. Hello, where are you from? Where's my hat from, guys? I don't remember where my head is from. The fix. I want to say the fix, but why do I feel like Mr. Price? Ah, Mr. Price. Mr. Price. I'm sorry you cannot see me properly. It's still early in the morning and the light is not cooperating. But underneath I have my white mushroom uh, tea that I love. Yeah, that's how we're looking all designer looking like <laughs> designer look alike <laughs> almost a designer i'm backlit all right there we are there's lighting okay i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and i don't know if i, I should prop you i feel like i need to clean the studio before i do anything as well there's that I need to pack up all of these things that are on here, right? Uh, there's a lot. Okay, I'm gonna stop yapping and probably um, pack up my aunt's dress and everything of hers off of the ironing board and also clean up the studio and get it smelling all good. And then I can do, I can start working on the new patterns and that's when i'll prop you for now i'm gonna put you away clean the studio get rid of all of this mess over here because i cannot focus if the studio is not clean my brain gets too overwhelmed i cannot think i don't know if this happens to you guys but it happens to me so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then pick you back up after i delete the footage that's in the memory card all right catch you up in a bit peace and out okay guys so i've deleted some footage and before the neighbors start playing music i wanted to um i wanted to show you what i'm starting with so these are the other clients measurements uh my friend and this is This is her fabric. So a young fabric called Nyana. <laughs> um, so this is the fabric. This is how it looks and it's called panels. It's a Sushetra fabric. And it's called panels and it's called panels because see where there's like dotted lines. I need to cut those bits and then match the pattern. 
and stitch i bought five meters of this and it's apparently 20 panels or on here so there's 20 panels on here i wanted the dress to have like that full gather that the inspiration has so i opted to get as many panels as i can i had asked another lady when i was buying the fabric there by the fabric store i, was, I saw another lady who was going to work on the on like a similar pattern and i was like okay so how many panels i was like how many meters do you need to um get this really perfectly done and she was like well you buy panels you don't buy in meters like the other regular social fabrics so i was like how many panels do you need then and she was like 15 or 16. so me go big or go home i feel like um 20 panels will give me the fullest um gather and fullness at the waist so that's what i opted for so i bought five meters so if you want to do the same uh gather uh, skirt you know how much i used so i used 20 panels which is five meters of this fabric so the fabric i was saying i need to go buy it's just it's one that is just like this it doesn't have this bit it's only this so sort of like mix it's a mix a mixer fabric or yeah but it's just how social show fabrics are named and this is a yeah this bit this bit here don't ask me how they name them but that's that on that so you got that uh green and gold fabric and then in here i went over to mr chen to get some other stuff we got 2.5 meters of lining that one that i love from mr chen i bought some um violin and we got a meter of violin it's eight rent per meter oh this is this is 12 rand per meter, this is 8 rand per meter, and the social share fabric is 15 rand per panel. But all in all, everything 5 meters that I got is 300 rand. And then the zipper is 5 rand, the, the invisible zipper. So that is everything that I've bought for my friend. I only need to go and get that 1 meter of the mixer fabric. Just a meter of it, it's probably going to be 63 rent per meter, so uh, that's that on that. And I need to go wash it. Remember in the last vlog I told you you need to wash your social fabric before you use it. So that's what I'm going to do. But today what I'm doing is I am going to go ahead and uh, draft and cut the mock-up, stitch it. Hopefully ask my friend to come over today and fit so that at least when I take this home with me, tonight and go wash it i'm gonna wash it and leave it to dry outside the place we stay at it's pretty safe uh, so i'm gonna leave it outside to dry and then come back with it in the morning and iron it and start cutting when it's be cut but i'm gonna do that after i'm done with this bits of this dress i'm gonna go ahead and start the other complicated uh dress so that's that on that I just wanted to catch you up before they start playing music. I don't want to be copyrighted. I told you the neighbors next door like play music, so um, there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, all right. Catch you up in a bit when I am working on the pattern. All right. Peace. <laughs> I'll prop you here.
Okay, you guys, just prepare to be sick of me because I'm gonna voice you over for as long as I can voice you over. But over here, I'm just calculating as per usual my client's measurements against my graded pattern so that I don't begin the pattern drafting from scratch each time. Basically, this is what I do with every client that I have, except for when I have trouble with uh, it. I usually just go back to what I know best, which is crafting from scratch, like how I did with my aunt's um, dress. So yeah, this is me just tracing out my new pattern in the way. It's, it's amazing. It, it's it saves me time to be honest yeah that's the pattern um i did want us to have a conversation in this voiceovers but nobody has given me a topic yet but i want to say i want to thank you so much because um my sister has realized that you guys have been watching the ads oh my god we made one dollar something and we've not been making money at all on youtube for the longest time so i want to thank you guys a lot you are really coming through for the girl i appreciate it anyway that's our little pattern i'm working on a little square neckline here and yeah enjoy watching i don't really have music in this Phone. this is why partly why i have our little voice over moments yeah remember to give me a topic so we can talk in the space okay guys i think you saw me working on the pattern earlier and i am done right now i'm just going to show you how it looks i'm trying not to talk too much because there's music playing in the next door room so here we go Okay, uh, that's everything. It's a square neckline, but then at the back it's a scoop neckline. I didn't want to have squares front and back. Um, yeah, we'll see how that pans out. She will probably come through for a fitting today. Once I'm done, I'm going to cut the mock up right now and stitch it and just wait for her to come through. All right, let us. Okay guys, here's the mock-up all stitch. It's not giving anything to be honest. Uh, it needs to be on the owner's body to fully understand what is going on, but it's giving a bit of shape already. That's the back. And just like the one that I did before with my aunt's dress, I am going to add a full circle um, skirt 
lining. Um, it doesn't matter if I am working on a gathered skirt or whatever. Yeah. I just do a full circle skirt lining, except if it's for like a straight fit or a, um, how do you call this? A pencil skirt. Yeah. All right. Guys, I'm so tired. I am super tired, but I just went and came back from um, getting that mixer fabric. Let me show you. So, it's just this one, doesn't have an extra print, just plain lebe lebe. I bought a meter of this and we are going to pray and hope everything fits on here. <laughs> but I'm gonna take it with me with the other fabric and go wash and then come back tomorrow and cut and hopefully, hopefully stitch the entire dress tomorrow. Like it needs to be a one day job. I'm really praying it's a one day job so that um, I can continue with the other dress. So the client is coming through right now. She's gonna fit. I'm probably not gonna show you all of that, but I'll let you know how the fitting goes and then, and then I can begin the other project. Let me get my phone. She doesn't say anything. Anyway, uh, so I went over to I went over to Woolwagon. I got three meters of paper, my drafting paper. I'm out, and and then I bought two meters of um, poly cotton. It's forty rand per meter. This is five rand per meter. Now, including the mixer fabric. That is 63 rand. This is how much. Focus. That's how much everything cost. I hope you saw that. Yep. That's how much everything cost. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait a bit for the client to pull through and we can do our little fitting after the fitting i will cor make corrections where corrections need to be made and then what will be left me beginning the other pattern i feel like i i have it down because now she changed remember i said she changed her skirt so i had to figure out how to go about doing the skirt bit of it so we'll see how that goes but i think i have it down so yeah catch you up after the fitting oh, okay guys so my client came through she fitted i marked everything that needs to be um, adjusted but the fit was impeccable and i'm like i'm actually loving that about um the stuff that i'm doing currently that it fits nicely um i don't know why i'm propping you on the table because i want to show you how the mock-up looks um i'm so tired to be honest i did a lot today filming and then whilst Drafting a pattern, cutting the mock-up, stitching the mock-up. I did a lot in one day for one person. I and I still need to continue because there's that other dress most that I have to do. Let me show you. So here is the mock-up. Wherever you see the yellow, that is my adjustments. Come over here. So at the back here, 
I'm only going to leave one centimeter seam allowance for our zip. This is where um, the zipper goes. I had left two centimeters um, zip allowance. So I'm going to take off the one centimeter and just uh, be left with the one for the invisible zip. And then over here on the waist, this is my new stitching line. So I need to blend it from the back. Let me show you. So I need to blend it from the back like that because she she has got a booty. She's got a big booty and it does that high low, but the high is at the back. <laughs> uh, that's not what we want. We want the dress to be fully balanced front and back. So I had it pinned when she was uh, still wearing the mock-up, but I have the marks there to show where I need to cut the bodice but the skirt stays the same hey that is the mock-up and I don't think I showed you the full circle but I did say it's the same as um, what I did for my aunt's dress it's just a full circle skirt yeah that's that on that we are done I'm going to end this part of the blog or of the vlog here Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Continue chatting down in the comments with me. A uh, few of you do talk to me, and I love that. I love it a lot. Um, yeah, so keep commenting, keep liking, keep sharing the content. Be part of the community. Watch the ads. I'm going to continue telling you to watch the ads. If you're not watching me, you're tired of watching me that day, just let it play. Let it play in the background there. Have its fun while playing the ads so that I can actually get paid by YouTube, please. Pretty please. <laughs> pretty please. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, but pretty please, okay? All right. Catch you in the next uh, vlog. I'll probably still be in the same outfit because it's going to be... On the same day i'm just uh starting the other the other dress i'm starting the pattern for the other dress yeah peace and